My name is uh, Chris Holmes. Sure, this is uh, my canine partner, uh, Draco. He's a urban search and rescue dog. He can detect uh, live human scent that is concealed. So if you have somebody who is uh, trapped in a uh, collapsed building, he can uh, detect where that person is, where the scent is coming from. Oh, I, I love it. Uh, like I said, I'm in a special ops battalion. So uh, wherever I go, he goes with me, whether I'm on uh, one of the rescues or the hazmat unit, the fireboat, or uh, one of the engines or truck companies throughout the city. Uh, wherever I go, he goes. Uh, he gets a warm welcome uh, in any firehouse we go to. Uh, he, uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good addition. A call comes in for squad three, and in under a minute, they're out the door. The call came in from the Metro subway station. A person is stuck in an elevator. The crew used a special elevator tool to open the door. You dig him out? Okay, all right. The victim had been evacuated from the elevator below street level by the transit authority. The crew of Rescue Squad 3 respond to a 911 call. The crew cruise the shopping center parking lot looking for a victim. They find a supermarket employee in a panic. She has locked her keys in her car. A great example that no job is too small for Squad 3.
This vehicle is more difficult to open and needs its special tools brought out. The Slim Jim. The grateful victim understands that her call was just a small thing. She thanks the squad and they return to service. Engine 15 returns to the station from a local medical. Lucky enough to be a part of the uh, FEMA task force out of Northern Virginia, uh, VATF-1, which is uh, Virginia's task force one. Um, lucky to be a part of them as a uh, canine handler with them. Um, and like I said, I, I do this here with the, uh, with the department here. So a lot of my time off, I train. So luckily I have the best wife in the world. Uh, she, is, she is awesome. She uh, allows me to uh, spend a lot of my time uh, with the kids to go fishing and to, and to do things that, uh, you know, it's kind of the family, the family time uh, together is uh, kind of limited, but I spend a lot of time with my kids and a lot of time with the dogs, training the dogs. A box alarm comes in. Jump on the ambo for a ride to the scene. Engine 15 screams by the ambo on its way to the car. A fire alarm has gone off at the Windy Towers and Gardens apartment complex. The battalion is on scene. A firefighter from engine 32 carries in a high-rise pack. I guess, uh, Ran, uh, I got into a little spell when I was here in, uh, on Rescue 3 when I was a, uh, a private. Uh, just got into a little spell where uh, it just seemed like it was just bad luck. It was just, just a lot of fatalities with, with kids. Uh, probably ran three or four of them back to back within probably two or three weeks. Um, just, a bad, just a bad break. And, uh, uh, I mean, it wasn't the first time I ran fatalities with kids. It just, uh, I just, just had kids on my own, of my own. Um, me and my wife did, and uh, it's just something just clicks whenever you have children, uh, and then you you know you run incidents like that. It just 
Uh, before, I just never thought of it. You know, it's like, hey, how can I prove myself? You know, or, or what I did for the next time. But, you know, when uh, when you run instances like that, and when you have children, it's just uh, I don't know, just something that you you kind of not forget. The crew of Engine 32 checked the alarm panel for location. First due truck up brings in the fans to ventilate the sixth floor from this fire. The squad makes sure that all the victims that need to be evacuated have been evacuated.